And now Carlos is a citizen of the world. Your music is so filled with joy and passion. Your heart is filled with love and generosity. And what a privilege it is for us tonight to give back some of that love to you, my friend, Carlos Santana. Carlos is a kind of sorcery, a way to merge the spirit and the flesh, and each of us to one another. I had lost the deeper reasons for play. He wanted his music to be in the service not of his own fame, but of the river of humanity. For his six strings to connect our cultures, our rhythms, our heartbeats. A young group of musicians felt the way he did and asked him to lead the way. His album, Supernatural, marked the biggest comeback in rock history. says, I don't play music, the music plays me. All I've ever wanted to do is to bring people together and give them joy. When a 22-year-old Carlos Santana took the stage at Woodstock, few people outside his hometown of San Francisco knew who he was. And the feeling was mutual. Carlos was in uh, such a, shall we say, altered state of mind that he remembers almost nothing about the other performers. <laughs> He thought the neck of his guitar was an electric snake. <laughs> but that did not stop Carlos and his band from whipping the crowd into uh, such a frenzy with a mind-blowing mix of blues and jazz and R&B and Latin music. They'd never heard anything like it. And almost overnight, Carlos Santana became a star. It was a, a pretty steep climb for a young man who grew up in Mexico playing the violin for tourists, charging 50 cents a song. But as a teenager, Carlos fell in love with the guitar. He developed a distinctive sound that has drawn admirers from Bob Dylan to Herbie Hancock. And he gave voice to a Latino community that had too often been invisible to too many Americans. You can cuss or you can pray with the guitar, Carlos says. He found a way to do both. And today with... <laughs> And today, with 10 Grammys under his belt, Carlos is considered one of the greatest guitarists of all time. And he's still attracting new fans. Back in 2000, his album Supernatural beat out Britney Spears and the Backstreet Boys to get to the number one uh, on the charts. Kids were listening to Carlos who hadn't even heard of Woodstock. But despite all his success, Carlos says he still feels blessed to be able to play a piece of wood with strings and touch people's hearts. <coughs> So for blessing us all with his music, we honor Carlos Santana.